for today, so hold on to your seats and unplug those ears. Starting off, we have George W. Bush response to Al-Qaeda and their terrorist attacks. He shows great sense of leadership and reassures the people of America as he leads us to set goal in this time of fear. Recently, terrorism has dealt a huge blow to us Americans and nations across the world. We must preserve our freedom, liberty, free freedom, and liberty at all costs. I love my freedom and liberty and the freeness of liberty of all my free people. I love my freedom so much, I have free American socks. Osama bin Laden will face my fierce liberty as we will invade Iraq and carry out Operation Iraqi Freedom. Uh, was it just me or did he say freedom and liberty and free like 49 times? Oh, uh, well, I mean, regardless, he shows a great sense of patriotism with that speech. And it's great to see our president so active in our time of need. However, it's going to cause a great debate whether war and violence is really the answer to our terrorist problems. True, I mean, I don't know. We don't have a convincing argument yet, but we'll see what the future holds. Welcome back, folks. We've just recently received information we needed to convince us regarding Iraq's preemptive hostility and what could likely convince the world that we must act with aggression. Not only Iraq, but also Iran and North Korea, as President Bush accuses them of holding nuclear weapons and labels them the axis of evil. Over to you, Powell. I, Secretary of State Colin Powell, have concrete, very, very, very concrete evidence and that I would bet my life on that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction that will destroy our world as we know it. They have also acquired uranium in Africa that they are using to create nuclear weapons. We must invade. Once again, my fellow Americans, our free liberty and freedom is in danger. The axis of evil, Iraq, Iran, and North Korea, all three are involved in terrorist activities against our freedom, your freedom, especially my liberty. My liberty's at stake and your liberty too. Wow, that's quite an accusation. I don't believe it. What? What are you talking? Are you insane? We must invade. I want the press on this one. We must act. My freedom is no. in danger. No. Hey, hey stop recording. Stop, stop recording. I've been stop. listening stop to your conversation. This is too much. Stop recording. Talking about that with you. No. Ma'am, get back. Ma'am. Ma'am. Get back. Um. Well, sorry about that, everyone. That was quite eventful. But please welcome Mrs. Housefire, our new non-terrorist reporter. Hello, everyone. You're not a terrorist, right? No, 100% no. Don't even worry about it. Okay, well, continuing on, I just received information that France will not be helping us with the war. What? What kind of allies are they? Shouldn't they be helping us fight for our freedom? That's what I'm saying. Well, regardless, we'll be sending you guys to our new on-site reporter, Jameson Yampi, to see the reaction of the people on the war. I'm Jameson Yampton, currently reporting in from McDonald's, eating my French fries. Hey! Those French fries? Freedom fries. Hey! Is that French wine? No French wine. Well, as you can see, the American people are 100% on board with the Iraq war and are completely against the French non-participation in the war. Man, this war is what is the president even thinking? It's Vietnam all over again. We've lost billions of dollars and it's even rising to trillions. Yeah, and uh, I knew from the start the accusation was fake. Mm -hmm. I was not on board the president. Of course. And I mean, this war just, just sucks. We lost everything, yeah, man. I agree. Man, Housewife, you suck. Bring back Zoe. Bring back Zoe. I love you. All right, guys, I'm back. Thanks a lot for ratting me out. I mean, I was telling you, all those accusations were lies. But you know, you didn't want to listen to me. Ah, uh, that's, that's my fault. I apologize. 
better. All right, anyway. Okay, we're going to send you guys back to our boy Jameson Yampton, our on-site reporter, to see the people's new change of opinion on the work. Is I, Jameson Yampton, back to see the new opinions of the local people. I'm talking with this man at the pub. How are you doing? What are your opinions on the new political situation? Man, this war sucks. It's brought nothing but debt and suffering. I don't want my freedom. I don't want freedom fries. I want French fries. Give me some French wine. Wait, I already have French. As you can tell about this man's demeanor and French wine and want for French fries, he has changed his opinion and the general public has spoken. They are against the Iraq war. I know it looks bad. They didn't have weapons of mass destruction. We lied. But it was for our freedom and our freedom's freedom and the future of our children and their freedom. It was all in the pursuit of good, good liberty and freedom. And Mr. West, I do care about black people. Okay, well, at least it's great to see that he loves his freedom. Yeah, we need a new president. Yeah, well, all right, setting aside politics, we got some disturbing information that a hurricane is thrashing New Orleans as we speak. Katrina? Not now, I'm at work. Make sure you have a sandwich ready when I get home. And the kids have nice clothes. No, no, no. You listen to me. Know your place as a perfect wife. Sorry, my wife. She can be a real hurricane if you know what I'm saying. Drives me crazy. Huh. Hurricane Katrina has a good ring to it. Anyways, we're sending you to y Jameson Yamphy and the hurricane situation. I'm in New Orleans. Boom. I'm in New Sweat and I'm dying. This is. I need Michael Brown here, Steve. Run now, because I'm dying. This is Jim and Jameson Yampton. We're going to my last report ever. Okay, um, moving on from that whole uh, hurricane situation. Jameson, you'll be missed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we'll have to find a new reporter. But um, we do have one other dilemma, the Great Recession. Once again, we're in an economic downturn as we always do seem to be. Yep. Um, this time, the housing bubble burst and the housing market is collapsing. You know, oh. I don't know. Oh no. Katrina, what do you want this time, man? A house? We're losing our house? Man, you're useless. Well, you know, Nick's kind of gone. He's poor and fired. And uh, I probably will be in about like 10 seconds because, you know, Great Recession and all that. But uh, thanks for joining us, folks, and be seeing you new. Sometimes life takes us on the longest journeys. Not everyone can make it through them. But for those who endure, knowledge, wisdom, experience, and sometimes all three await you. A Push Textbook, thank you for teaching me how to make it through school in one and a half hours of sleep. Thank you for teaching me how to remember someone's name beyond five minutes after learning it. To read you is torture, and so is eating kale. And that's good for you, so you must be too. Screw kale. Gibson out.